Over at the Coliseum Saturday, Honor Flight Northeast Indiana is holding a drive through salute to all our veterans. And Fort Wayne's NBC's Tyler Brummett is live this morning with all of those details. And Tyler, we are so excited about the parade. And I heard that Honor Flight is resuming. Is that correct? Yeah, they'll be resuming flights to Washington, D.C. come this fall. But unfortunately, this weekend, the veterans are not going to be able to go to D.C. But they do have the next best thing here to talk about all of it. Dennis Covert with Honor Flight Northeast Indiana. First of all, thank you so much for being here with us this morning. Uh, a big day for you guys this Saturday, right? Uh, tell us what's going to happen. Well, Saturday morning at uh, 10 o'clock in the Memorial Coliseum parking lot, we're going to have a big drive through parade. All veterans are welcome to come out to the Coliseum, enter off of Parnell, they'll drive through a human corridor of fans and, and cheering people holding up signs. We have the Patriot Guard riders there, the Corvette Club, a band, and this is just a way that we're just trying to stay connected with the veterans and say thank you for serving our country. So we have a goodie bag for everybody too. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, good to hear that they're going to be getting treated well. Now, I know you were telling us off camera that these veterans, they're going to be, you know, coming in and obviously they'll be recognized. Some of them, though, didn't get that recognition when they first came home from a war, perhaps. That's right. Yeah. And that's what Honor Flight is all about, is recognizing the veterans. And, and that's why it's called Honor Flight, because we're honoring them for their service to our country. And we're going to do it with a parade, a veterans parade. We want them to drive their cars through this Saturday morning and have a good time with that. And hopefully, uh, we're anticipating that we'll be resuming some flights this fall. Yeah, that's big news, great news to hear. Uh, so typically, they would start early in the morning and go to Washington, D.C. When you hear these stories, what does it mean to you to just be able to give back to those who have given so much to our country? Well, it, it, it's Actually, it's our honor to honor these veterans because these are the ones, these are people who signed their name to a piece of paper pledging their life to defend our country. And so we're honoring veterans for serving us. Yeah, as we get closer to Saturday, what are some things people need to know if they want to come out? Uh, we start around 10 o'clock uh, and it'll run until 1130 and just enter off of Parnell and drive all the way through and you'll exit through at the Coliseum Boulevard. And we have people there to help direct traffic and everyone. So uh, the public is welcome to come out. If they want to bring out a sign that says, thank you, veterans, or welcome home, why, they're welcome to do that, too. Awesome. Dennis Covert, thank you so much again. A big event happening this week, and we just heard Dennis talk about it. Come out, honor our veterans, 10 o'clock at the Memorial Coliseum. You know, the people that are going to be honored, they have given so much. Again, they won't be heading to Washington, D.C. as they would in some other events. Those flights will resume come this fall. So, of course, the veterans, I'm sure they can't wait for that. But come this weekend, they're going to be getting the next best thing and being honored for their years of service. Of course, the stories that you hear, they are just incredible. So, again, uh, come out this weekend and honor our men and women in uniform. Yeah, I mean, it's just a small thing that we can do to show our appreciation. And Tyler, I know a lot of those veterans are excited for those upcoming flights in the fall. Absolutely. And I love what Dennis said, that it's our honor to honor yeah. our veterans. It is. Thank Tyler, you. Thank you.